Salutations to the Holy Elect that day. You are kind of the document that delivers to the most truth and sincerity. I'm a priest, Shaman. This week's topic is going to be entitled "Sentence Against an Evil Work." Right? Just yesterday, you had the Fourth of July. Right? People out there popping fireworks, celebrating the so-called independence of America. And you would think, pardon me. You would think after all these years that the Lord will come and destroy the so-called white man for all his sins and atrocities and not let him celebrate so-called Pride Month and then after that the independence and just keep defiling and testing the Most High. Well, that's actually scriptural. The nature of the so-called white man keeps trying to push and push his wickedness and, and really trying to say, look, what you going to do, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua? So with that said, there's a book of Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work. What's an evil work? Sins, all right? And the so-called white man has made the nations, of, um, the two-thirds of Israel, drank the wine, the philosophy, and the ways of the sinful, um, westernized world, okay? So, the scriptures tell you that the wages of sin are death. So, it's like, how come this man is not, and he's, um, how come America has not experienced great death yet, right? Because all, it's do, all it does is sin and sin and defile the Lord. It says, because sentence is not executed it's like it says because it says because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily it's fully set in the heart of men and the sons it's like it is fully therefore the heart of the sons of men there is fully set in them to do evil right because they're not getting the bell to the ass right away right like you know if your child was to go off you know, you beat them, they know right from wrong, but if you, like, you know, not doing nothing to them, they're going to keep doing their wickedness. But you have to understand, the scripture says in the book of Romans 9 and 17, for this purpose have I built thee up. The Most High has built the so-called white man up to let him go on with his wickedness and madness, all right? That way, just like how the feds make you build up a case, all right? The so-called um, so white man has a long rap sheet with the Heavenly Father, so when that judgment time comes, that's why the scriptures are going to be fulfilled when it says the vats overflow, all right? Because the wickedness in America just keep growing and growing. And you think like, damn, when the Lord going to act? But well, Yahweh Shem Yahshai will act. It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred um, a hundred times, right? Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, you have like the uh, Rockefellers, um, the Queen of England, a lot of these Rothschilds, they live over a hundred years. Nothing happened to them, you know? They come back in a reincarnation. They think this thing this is going to go on and they're going to keep pushing the buttons of the Lord, but there will come a time when Yahweh Shem is going to act, and that time is very soon. Really, what those with the understanding, you know that a thousand years to us is but a day to the Most High. So the Most High is really acting very swiftly. You know, that's how come the crucifixion of our Lord, Him going on that cross, is fresh in the minds of those in the spiritual world, okay? Because it's a different time period. Time I operates differently in that fifth dimension, right? It says, um, though sin to do um, evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, right? You live a hell of a long time. It says, um, okay, I'm trying to, and his day be prolonged, yes, surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear. The Most High, which fear before Him, right? So it's better to have um, fear of the Lord, all right, than to not fear the Most High and, and indulge in sin and all that for a season. That's what the scriptures tell you. That's what these people are doing, all right? Because guess what? It's only going to last but a season before Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, all right, judges these people, okay? From there, I'm going to go to the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 10, verse 6. All right, and it reads, he said in his heart, this is lob, is mine, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. You see, so that goes right along with that, you know, the thoughts and the process of the so-called white man. Nothing's going to happen to me. It's a lot, yeah. Yeah, that goes hand in hand with how the so-called white man thinks, right? Nothing's going to befall me. I'm going to keep doing my wickedness forever and forever. All right, who's the most high? 
what's he gonna do to me? You know, I read it again. It says, he saith, he said, he has said in his heart, all right, I shall not be moved, all right? I'm, not, I'm gonna be in my rulership forever. You know, nobody's gonna take me out. I'm just gonna keep doing wickedness. It says, it goes on to read, so I can try to fix this. Um, I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. So that's the so-called white man's thought process, man. All right, I'm going to go on forever. Nothing's going to happen to me. All the rape, robberies, and, and murders I've done to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, my wine that I spread to us, across the um, earth um, of wickedness, nothing's going to befall me. Let's keep tempting the Lord. Let's keep pushing his buttons. But guess what? There is going to come a time and judgment, all right? Just like every other nation. Every other nation thought they would never go down until they actually went down. All right. Um, reading on Isaiah 5 and 18, it says, Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords, vanity and sin is as it were with a cart rope. Right. So it says, that's a so-called white man, right? Because what? The cart rope is what the beast used to pull things, right? You tie it, a beast will tie the cart rope to them, all right? And they'll pull things and, you know. So it's saying that's how the so-called white man is when it comes to sin, vanity, and lies, man, all right? He's always dragging up behind him, all right? That's how come the scriptures tell you never trust the enemy. The so-called white man has built a kingdom upon lies, upon deceit, upon ill-gotten gains, and therefore this kingdom shall be translated, man, all right? These people out here in the world, the whole topic of the show, it goes beyond the so-called white man. A lot of these people out here in the world even ones that call themselves Israelites are committing sin upon sin and thinking the Lord is not going to judge them, but not knowing the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, all right? Beholding all the ways of man and the inner thoughts. And there's going to come a time when everybody's going to take um, account for their works in the world, all right? As it is written, whatever you reap, that shall you sow, all right? So these people that are going on about their day and getting caught up in the world, all right? Trying to reap the benefits of the world, Guess what you're gonna get? Um, guess what you're gonna end up reaping when it's all said and done? Nuclear hellfire, all right? Or some other great calamity. You see? That's what's gonna befall those that try to seek the world first instead of the kingdom, all right? Because this world is gonna pass and fade away, all right? So the so-called white man just had his Pride Month. He didn't have his Independence Day. You know, it's like, damn, Lord, you just, this motherfucker just out here celebrating this shit. But guess what? The most High is the one that's going to allow this to happen to puff up the so-called white man's spirit. Because remember, this man is going to be filled with great fear, but also more pride than anything to fight against the Heavenly Father and the Son himself. Alright? He has a so-called God complex. And who's giving him that God, God, God complex? The most High. Get the scripture before the phone overheats. Alright. This is the book. This is the book of... Isaiah chapter 26 and 10 It says let favor be showed To the wicked yet will he Not learn righteousness Who's that talking about man that's talking about The so called white man here it is The most high didn't give this guy a tremendous amount Of time to repent from his madness Alright put the prophets out there They know who we are they know who the Israelites Are they know the judgment that's coming But they still not going to repent You see The most because Christian said can a, le can a leper change his spots all right, can you make straight with, some, with the most high made crooked? So you idiots out there that's trying to save these heathens, you got your goddamn mind. All right, the most high has put them on a purpose to do this wickedness. All right, so no matter how much time you give the so-called white man, he will not repent from this. All right, he's not going to look back and say, damn, man, you know, I've done wickedness. You know, let me really... No, he's going to continue doing GMOs, fucking up the oceans, fucking up the planet Earth, defiling the most high. That's the nature of this devil. He'll toss and turn in his bed if he's not doing so. It says, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, which is over there in the land of Israel, will he deal unjustly. And they're polluting our homeland. That's why shit can't grow over there. Don't they, you know they have the Tel Aviv pride same shit over there too? And will not behold the majesty of the Lord. So, he's going to keep sinning. He's going to keep doing his bullshit. The following the Lord. Sin is going to constantly keep following him. And he's not going to repent. The so-called white man is not going to change. The only thing that's going to have to happen, Salaki, the only thing that's going to have to happen is Yahweh Shimei is going to have to send the missiles here, 
all right, which they're going to shoot upon themselves, all right, and ultimately Yahweh Shai coming to end everything off with that fire. You see, I got to give me a little thing to hold the phone. All right, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakodash, the blinds of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the whole the elect out there. You are Kim to Zadakim, that did this thing in the most youth and sincerity. Shalom.